Hello there and a very good afternoon. The severe sexual violence carried out by Myanmar security forces against the country's Muslim Rohingya minority demonstrates intent to commit genocide as well as warrants prosecution for war crimes and crimes against humanity. The UN Independent International Fact-Finding Mission on Myanmar said it found the country's soldiers routinely and systematically employed rape, gang rape and other violent and forced sexual acts against women, girls, boys, men and transgender people in blatant violation of international human rights law. The report, released in New York, charges that the genocidal intent of Myanmar's military toward the Rohingya was demonstrated by means of killing female members of the Rohingya community. Myanmar's government and military, however, consistently denied carrying out human rights violations and said its military operations in Rakhine were justified in response to attacks by Rohingya insurgents. Lightning struck across the Tatra Mountains in southern Poland and neighboring Slovakia on Thursday, killing five people and injuring over 100 others in an area popular with hikers and families. Witnesses said the thunderstorm came suddenly on a day that began with clear weather. The lightning strikes pummeled Poland's G1 peak as well as other locations across the Tatras. Prime Minister Matus Morawiecki said some among the over 100 injured were in very serious condition with severe burns or head injuries. In another rescue operation in the Tatra Mountains, TOPR emergency workers have been searching for two cavers who went missing in the cave on Saturday after being trapped by rising water where one of the two bodies was found yesterday. At least one person was killed and eight injured after a fire broke out overnight in a hospital complex on the outskirts of Paris. Authorities said on Thursday the fire reportedly started on the upper floors of the building. The fire at the Henry Mondoc Hospital in Crete broke out late on Wednesday night and was eventually brought under control in the early hours of Thursday morning. The cause of the fire has not yet been determined. And that is all for me. I'm Shira Abamanso for TV Sarawak. Thank you for watching.